Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to create an island with the ocean but there's actually more to this so what we're going to learn right here you can see from beginning we're going to create a unique rock formations we're going to work with the displacement of materials see why, how we can create all these different type of the rocks save them and reuse them as we need it so it is provide the techniques for you how to even create your crystals so any other effect you want for yours um future creations you will need to have it um function editor module installed for this application you may already have it if you're using like infinity extreme complete or maybe you purchase some other sprint with function editor and you can we can go over and you can see right here how we will progress learn how to put it properly ecosystem placement of the ecosystem and of course rendering by using different atmosphere and creating this final product so let's go ahead and start working with this tutorial okay let's go ahead and start work on our project and we're kind of split on two parts in the first part we're going to create our rock and this will have a nice technique so you can learn how to create your unique natural looking rock, rock formation you even can create your crystals or other things by with experimenting and i'll show you in a way you can do that um you will need it have it a function editor module for this if you have it complete infinity or um, extreme you already have it if you have a different versions sprint um, some of them included and or pioneer you will need purchase this additional module and if you want to work with the view on a depth level you probably want to have this almost like must to have the module for this type of the works okay so let's go begin by creating our general shape and we'll use it primitives object so you can find them in a drop down and we'll go and use its sphere you also if you have a different object you can right click and hold with your mouse you have to expand this pop-up menu and we can select the sphere out of there so let's take this sphere bring down this as will be our base to create next i can just click right there again or i can hold it option on the mac or alt on a pc hold down the button uh, left click hold and drag and you can see it's kind of duplicating so i like to do this way it's this way i can make a very fast object and replicate them so i'll go to stretch this make like sphere we'll take other ones and you know maybe let's go expand so this is will be our base like right there okay now let's go select the sphere option alt again move it now we'll do different shapes again copy put it right here bring down maybe expand this way so overall you can see i'm just creating this kind of different shapes of the object so and this is very very rough shape for me next i'm going to select all of them and going to right again on the left side bar right here we have it meta blobs so i'm going to left click with the mouse to create meta blobs not hyper blobs we'll come back to that maybe later so right here we're creating and you can see now we have a general shape so next what i want to do it is modify that shape you can use several ways you can actually click going to displacement right here and you can also use the already predefined and you can see how it's changed rocks however what i want to do one do by ourselves so we'll reset it and we'll just double time click on materials or we can go to material editor and right here we have it, our material editor notice it is in advanced mode if you have it like this in a basic mode go to this button which is advanced material editor click on this and this will expand and bring us to a little bit bigger screen so we can work on this one and kind of adjusting modifying this as well okay what i want to do now it is if you're on color let's go on a bumps notice we don't have any bumps right here enable so we want to modify and add i want to also be sure that displacement 
button is enabled because I want to apply displacement to this as well. And as we're going to preview, let's preset our render options, final, render to screen, and 800. Again, this is so we can preview when it's rendering. And I found out sometimes you're on the right screen preview, not necessarily represent correct displacement as if we render and it's render not in the preview in a final mode that will have it more accurate calculation for our displacements okay as well let's go here here and set scale one okay and we'll maybe switch mapping more to the object parametric but for now let's keep to world standard so we can change between them and see how it will affect our app okay next we we'll leave it depth as this default. We we'll right click and going to edit function. So right here we have it, our function editor for um, displacement and bump map for this material. If you're not familiar with this, very few fast uh, overview. On our left we have it, input nodes, nodes that provide us with information, maybe related to environment or position on the objects and all additional slope time and all this other information on the right we have it uh, outputs or the way we can um, affect influence currently the surface of this object um, and it is color alpha transparency right here we have a bump map and also we can notice right here we have displacement so those two it's what we understand at this point so let's go right now add something to them for this, we click anywhere, right click, it's pop up menu. You can also access from your left menu, but we'll do with pop up. And from here, I want to actually go into fractals. And you notice on a fractal, we actually have tons of different ones. We can go even more inside and do all of this one. But I'm going to select a simple fractal. In a simple fractal, we actually have it even more. Um, different type of fractals that can go through different noise. It's like almost Russian uh, stacking dolls, you know, inside one you have it more and more and more. Okay, let's go clean, uh, click on this one and you can see we have it all these different patterns, different noises. But we're going to the user cell parent and we're going to use it Verni. Just very basic one, but it's help us to connect it. Right now, let's go our bump. We'll connect to this one by altitude as well as displacement and you'll notice as we're doing this shape already changing so one thing right here it's look okay however our clipping you can see we have a problem with this so let's adjust a little bit on that and i can go inside and take larger features decrease as well we take gain and just bring it slightly down so i don't want kind of like those elements i want clean and smooth Okay, at this moment, let's go ahead and click preview. Okay, we can go render. And let's take a second, but right there you can see we have a nice, beautiful rock, very interesting formation. Okay, I also want to go inside, be sure that our displacement is enabled. Let's go edit function. Okay, so next what I want actually to do on this it is a small, but I want to also change a bigger shape. And this is a little bit more advanced because when you work with crystals, example, you want to have small crystals, but overall general shape. So we can combine actually those fractals. So let's go create another one. And just to be sure, we'll do the same things. We'll create a simple one. And if we click on this, this is, will be our small details. We can even take larger features, decrease them. So we'll have a kind of like small grain there. On this one, we'll go and can create a bigger shape. So for now, let's just connect to new one. Again, altitude, I'll create displacement with altitude. And you can see it will change because we increase our bigger shapes. Okay, let's take gain down as well. So this is will create larger overall shapes for our oh yeah and we need to change the remember to overnight that one okay so let's adjust a little bit okay and noise 
I want just big, you see how there's blobs coming up? So this is what I want to do. I want to have those big giant kind of shapes, larger features. Okay, maybe around there, reduce roughness. Yep, it's creating those nice blob. And you can play around to create all these different how much you want blobs of these areas. So now when okay, let me go adjust a little bit more. And I'm looking so it will be kind of smooth. So when you like the shapes and we can play a little bit more with these, you can also adjust them. We can add, for example, um noise or we can add all the different uh, filters turbulence for example we can add to this point and modify it but let's remove it for now so we won't go in this complex but we have a uh, two of them so let's combine them to do this we're going inside the combiner and we'll use the combiner so we'll go connect first okay let's expand it so we can see we'll connect second and we now take and connect both of them here. So what's happening? We're combining. We're combining our big shape of the rock and a noise to get it to be at one. So with combiner, we have it now this amplitude and offset. So we can also change how much of each of these will affecting that. So I don't want to affect too much. So I'm just taking a little bit down on both of them. Okay, so then my amplitude work on this. Maybe just bring this a little bit up. And again, I'm normally going preview. So we have it all this general shape and small details applied to this. When we're done with this, let's go ahead, click OK. And we'll go to preview at this moment. So let's see our rim. Okay, so right here is our change. And you can see we kind of modified because I reduce some of the effect but we still have the nice edges and very good going right around here um the, let's look one thing so right here we was working as the world standard what's happening if we switch this to object parametric so i switch look how shape is changed because now the all what modification we done it is applied based on the size of the object let's refresh it and you can see our shape is changed as well so now our displacement it will calculating against the object and you can see how it's big change so for um if you work with displacement in one with individual rocks i would recommend for you to use more as an object parametric because it will be work more directly with the object itself and does not use its scale of the world and you can see right here how much this will be different as well as shape like right here you can see with displacement really start changing edges and shapes of our objects okay so i will keep it as a object parametric scale one we could modify more we could of course going and have it a very crazy type of the displacement add a little bit more or make a little bit more smooth so at this point it's up to you how much of this um effect and look how much is different it's making to add all this different displacement so you can go around and play see um which one you like it I will just leave it four for now because I want to do it. And let's go ahead, um, work and use this in our next portion of tutorials. We actually continue add some maybe coloring and a few more other steps that I will recommend for you um, to have before we continue with this.